Hello, I am Diego Liceras, and today we're going to have a small video around a question that I received in my YouTube channel. In case that you haven't checked it before, just follow this link that you're going to find here, my YouTube channel, Yellow Tube, and also don't forget to download my game templates that you're going to see the link one more time here. This is it, my game templates. In case that you want to check my uh, Twitter, also you can go here, my blog, and of course my Twitch channel. So you can have it there. Now the question that uh, I had, it had to do with a condition on for an event that is called trigger once while true. So uh, I thought that it was interesting to explain this with an example. So I created a small video. Nothing small video game nothing really complicated but you're going to see similar situations in your games so I'm going to show you what what this is doing so far you are going to have this blue square that is your player and this red one that is lava and every time that you touch your lava you lose a life and when you can see it here when the lives are less or equal than zero then you are beginning to have this game over labels all over the place. So let's check what I did. Well, first I have four elements. So one for the lives that we're able to see here. One's for the game over, then, then I'm copying all over the place. And of course my player and my lava. Now, I have only two events and a global variable. The global variable, of course, it's the lives. And what I'm saying is that whenever I touch the lava, whenever I have a collision with the lava, I'm decreasing the number of lives and I'm updating the uh, label that shows me the lives so this is what we have here I think it had energy there first okay well it's lives I guess I missed it up now the other event that I have here is basically just asking if the lives are less or equal than zero and then I just create randomly a game over label somewhere on the screen so that's why you have like all over the place so, but the, quest, the question that I have here, and this is the important part that I think even more than the uh, trigger ones, is how the events work. And it turns out that every single game cycle that you have here, that sometimes could be more than once per second, your events are going to be checked. And they are going to say like, hey, is this true? In that case, it's going to execute the actions that are associated with this event. So what happens and that's why we see so many game over labels is that once I decrease I subtract from lives and get to zero this event is always true and then every more than once per second it's creating a new label so usually what you have is only one game over label you don't have it like popping although it could have a good effect and that's when you could use the trigger ones that we are going to have. So I'm going to add it here. I'm going to say add another condition system once that is trigger once well true and it says trigger once. I'm going to redo that just to show you something that is important there. Another condition system once once and it says that plays as last condition. So this is important we're going to experiment what happens when we don't follow instructions but if you put it as the last condition here it's going to say hey this is going to be checked at some point it's going to be true it's going to execute this game over label but then it was already done so it's not going to be executed anymore so instead of having hundreds of game over labels we're going to have only one now let's see if I'm lying or not So two lives one life zero lives and it was created randomly and now even if I am decreasing the lives this event is not considered true just because of this condition this part is true our lives are less or equal than zero in this case minus four but I already did the game over label I already created uh, the game over label and that's what I wanted so that works now what happens if I don't put it as the last one what happens if I move it at the top? Then it doesn't work. And I'm going to show you. Two lives, one life, zero life, 
and I at this point I should have my my label saying game over but nothing happens so not only it's kind of like I'm doing it stopping it from doing it like many times is not doing it at all so remember just to drag it here at the bottom the other thing is that you could have like 20 conditions here on the on the vent still this one should be the last one and that should work the other thing that I would like to point is that not every uh, event can be mixed with um, uh, what is it can be mixed with uh, with the trigger once for example if I try to copy this I'm just press or well I'm going to show you copy and if I try to paste it here I get an error and it says that there are so certain triggers that can not be mixed I haven't really like tried to mix them all but I know the collision because it occurs only once it's one of these conditions that sometimes cannot be mixed with other conditions so that's something that you're going to 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 figure it out if I'm not mistaken um, this one I think it can be a change for uh, overlapping and that uh, is going to work differently so I am going to delete this just for the fun of it and I'm going to try to change this between with overlap it's overlapping another object it's overlapping the lava so uh, we're not talking about the collision this is something when when two elements are touching each other so this is overlap so we're not talking about the moment that they touch but all this moment they are overlapping one is on top of the other and uh, so this one should work even more time so let's see and you see all this time it's working because this is a condition that doesn't help like one so what I don't want let's suppose that I don't want this to happen all the time I could or I should let's see if it works be able to say it happens only once but then that's not going to work perfectly because then it decreases one but then the second time oh well there you go it worked perfect so I was able to find in the middle of the video uh, a good combination so you see now I can still decrease live one by one not like continuously with the overlapping and still I have only one game over label so that's the example uh, so I hope that this video helped you to understand a little bit how the vents are executed in the game and then how this particular condition of trigger ones can be used uh, just think about like conditions that can happen constantly something that could uh, well be triggered more than once and you just want it to be triggered once well that's when you use this this one I don't think it's incredibly complicated but uh, sometimes it's better to have an example like this one to just illustrate how to make it work and when it's a good time to make it work just remember to keep making questions and comments on my youtube channel I really appreciate that and contact me if you have any other questions it could be on my blog or it could be on my twitter and I would be happy to at least take a look and figure it out have a great day